Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to day number 21 of this split playthrough that we're doing in 6.2. Welcome, welcome. Maybe you've already seen the title of the video of this live stream is Verpal X Captain Collins. I, I haven't shown anything to Twitch yet or anything. So you are in here live. If you got any questions during this stream, um, anything, write me in the comments. I'll be glad to answer them whenever it's an X4 question, whenever it's a hardware question or whatever. Um, you can also find links to everything in the description down below if I am fast enough to change it after the stream. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's about it. There is everyone. Dethan, hey, welcome on board. Good morning. All right. Uh, another X4 fact of the day. What is it? Did you know? The number. Every Perinit S ship includes the number three. Mostly they all got three engines. But the Theseus only got two engines, but three guns. <laughs> what? I didn't know that. That's funny. All right. There we go. For two hours. Tint. Great. So. Good. Cut and Bruce with the hydration. Let me do that first. Cheers. Because then after the five minutes, I'm <laughs> I'm free for five minutes. Cheers. Cut and Bruce. All right. So big reveal. Nothing's really set up right now i will be a lot in the in in the in the settings menu i set up just rudimentary stuff but uh we're going to take a look at everything together pretty much during dur during during the, the the stream and everything i need to adjust a, a few things and uh whew, the new cockpit from now on will look like this Hello? This. Boink. There we go. The new ones on the bridge. Meow. Maybe you know. <laughs> maybe you know them, maybe you're not. These are Verpil. Verpil Constellation Alpha Prime. Exactly. One standard, one with a Z extension. Both on Warbird D basis. Am I right? What does the what does the the, the command say? On Warbird D basis. Yeah, exactly. That's what they are. <laughs> the RGB touch is nice. Yeah, you can also change like all the colors around here. And uh, I I like I sat down yesterday for about an hour just to get the right uh, uh, RGB done. <laughs> Solely the RGB took me an hour because it's not like it's, you have like five lights in here and you got another. You, there you can see this. You got another five in here. One, two, three, four, five. It's crazy. And uh, first you get like to know what what is and, and then like having a color scheme and then like doing it for both. Yeah. Crazy stuff. Yeah, RGB. Took me an hour. <laughs> Napsum, hey, welcome on board. You have the same, uh, but the alpha is not the prime. Ah, there you go. The alphas, the alphas are distinguishable because they do not have those three lights at the front. Those are the primes with the three lights at the front, and the alphas have, like, only the RGB around it. Hey, you soft. Um, mm, 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 mm. Wonder if the Hyperion will be coming out. We will see. Giggly sticks. Yeah, I also changed a lot of stuff. Uh, I did videos how I un unpacked them and also how I changed springs and those. I have no idea how those things are called, which hold your stick in the middle. Uh, uh, something <laughs> i'm completely new to all that stuff so 
something. What are those called? Cams. 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 Aha. Uh -huh. Cams, they are called. Um, and what I did is I changed both of those sticks. Both of those sticks came with... Oh god, what are they called? Avia Sim Cams, which are like for aviation. And I changed them into Cosmo Sim Cams, which are for apparently space games. Um, and I changed them into Cosmo Sim Cams. No center. So there is no center. And it's just, it's such an amazing feeling. This one here with the standard spring. And this one here with the heavy spring. Because of the Z extension, I got a little bit more... What is that? What is that called? I got a little bit more strength. Uh, um, uh, oh God. What's the name for it? What's the name in German? Uh, uh, not hoop. <laughs> I don't know. You know what I mean, right? The, the the sticks are longer and therefore you have like more more pressure on like those those springs and <laughs> damn it, what's the name of it? Um Hebe. Hebe, right? Hebe. Lever. Leverage? Leverage. Leverage. Yeah, you got more leverage on the stick because of the extension. So that's why this one here is having a Heavy spring, this one here has got a standard spring, but they feel the same. Kind of what? So, if you have any questions, feel free to ask during the stream, after the stream in the VOD, wherever. Um, the, the, the priority today, by the way, will be dogfighting, pirating. Dogfighting and pirating. In uh, some, I think like something like an S, uh, M, M class ship, not an S class ship, M class ship. Viper bite. Hey, welcome on board. Good morning. Uh, Mart bot. Good morning. Welcome on board. Hello. Dings. <laughs> Springs. I'm sure they are not called. <laughs> Ciao, Shasla. Welcome on board. Good morning. Welcome, welcome. Half-Life 3 confirmed. Why that? <clears throat> uh, the ones with the VIP mark are legit. What? 7.0 is still not here. <laughs> hey, Weeby. Welcome on board. Good morning. So, let's go into the game and... See. I also already emulate... Is that right? Like this. I already emulated the mouse, which is kind of funny. Um, I can. Can I use the mouse already? No, it's not in there. Why can I not? Wait. Should be. Should be. Load profile. Yes. Oh no! What's going on? Uh, game. There you go. Yeah. I think I need to be in game for that. Yeah, I, I guess I need to be in game. Okay. Let's go. Red. Alert. Avatar of Win 359 rated space operations delta with three viewers. Avatar, thank you so much. Welcome on board. Uh, we do not have ah, we do not have um moderators here at the moment. So I need to do that myself. Bam. There you go. What were you playing? Nightingale. Oh, a little bit of uh, survival, huh? Maybe your mouse overrides your flight stick mouse controller. Mm. No, I think this is this is uh, only available in game. Turkish Republics, welcome board. Good morning, X4 time. Exactly. Wait. So does that work? Bonk. 
Yeah. Ah, look at that. My mouse. Yeah. Mouse only here. <laughs> Funny. Wait, can I do this? Oh, cool. Right? Oh, right click will be... Right click is hard. I need to find something else. Ah, funny. Also, I need to speak with Egosoft about a few things because there are a few bugs in in the in the control section. We need to find them and erase them. I don't know why nobody you did, did did tell you about it. I guess this is just because. Um, just because nobody's usually using it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Uh, have you thought about using eye tracking in X4? Not anymore, because if I'm honest, to use these things, I need to get back. I need to actually get like this far back. And here I am one meter away from the screen. So doesn't make really that much sense if like, I don't know. Everything's already pretty far away. I don't even know if you can if you can hear me good. That's that's the next thing. It's like ev everything needs to be adjusted to having to having those those sticks. There you go. And now I could use them, but I'm I'm pretty far away. And then if I come closer, I also need to adjust that. All right. Uh, no, I don't think so. That eye tracking makes makes sense anymore. Maybe a 46 inch monitor would make sense. <laughs> but that's like something for the future. You know. Um, we need something nice, M class. Maybe something from uh, from from the one and only friend that we got in this entire universe, which are the Boron. So the only friends we got. Argon. Mad at us. Atikva doesn't count. Basically also Argon. Holy Order. Fine. But. Uh, God Realm. Very, very uh, unfriendly. So Perinid also not friends. Not, not all of them. Queendom of Boron. And. Where are the others? Uh, where are who are wait there is no what are they called again they're not wait Did they lose everything they all became boron oh yeah okay so boron are the only the only ones that are actually friends with us i know I know. It doesn't make any sense. It is what it is. It is, it, it is what it is. Are you able to support your elbows? What do you mean? Like when I'm like this? No. I'm just... There's, there's nothing. But it's already a thousand times better than having like your sticks higher than your elbows and basically playing like that. You know, when you have them on your on your table, the sticks are above your elbows, and that's even more unrelaxing. So this here is already so much better. Putting them onto chair armlin. <laughs> I do not have any more. I do not have them anymore. That's the first thing that I do when I get a new chair. I remove those armrests. Armrests, they are called. There you go. First thing that I do, I hate them. They are always in the way. Always. You can't sit, can't sit like that on your chair. Not possible. I don't like them. <laughs> Why are you putting stick on desk? What? What, what do you mean? <laughs> Any plans to update your tutorial videos to reflect current content timelines when released? Uh, if it makes sense. Only if it makes sense. 
Yeah. Wait, we're actually in the wrong thing here. Oops. There we go. There we go. Stick between tights, like with real aircraft. <laughs> that only works when you got like a HOTAS system, because with two sticks, that doesn't make any sense. Just put flight sticks on your lap. <laughs> sure. I mean, I already thought about like doing this here, because at the moment we have them attached to the table like this. Kapitän der Schurke supportet bis 2 Euros. Hallo, Captain, der wöchentliche Kaffee ist da. Prösterchen. <lacht> Prösterchen. Thank you, Schurke. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very much appreciated. So that's how they are attached at the moment on, on, the, on the table. This is absolutely crazy stuff. And I thought about if, if like we're doing something more... Um, more fighter pilot like I can just simply put one of those in the middle like this and then having like one in the middle there but then I would need like a whole test system because with the second stick this doesn't make any sense you know because you would probably sometimes like use both of your hands for you know to be uh be more realistic there we go there we go it's not that easy i do not have a i do not have a space sim setup i have just a regular desk damn it what i could do is like i could get the desk higher and just use them while standing <laughs> You need two sticks for flight strafe and rotation. Uh, well, you know, if you have one stick, one stick, one throttle, you would also need like, or to be completely 100% um, in, in, into the fighter theme, then you would also need pedals. So strafing or like the rudder uh, at the back would be your pedals. So to be completely fully uh, immersed, that's like a completely different setup. Picnic King, health. Hey, welcome on board. Big fan. Your videos helped me click with X4. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much for watching them. I wouldn't be anything without you watching. I, I probably would have stopped making those videos a long time ago if, if people would not enjoy them. So thank you very much for enjoying them. I uh, got mine last month and well worth the money. They are awesome mounts. They are... This is absolutely wild. I haven't played with those yet. So today is actually my first time ever playing with purple sticks. I haven't played with them at all yet. I want to buy a... Can I buy a Hydra? Boron military ship license. Why that? I need a Boron military ship license. Can I get that with... Where are they? Here? Yeah, I could. I can. Could. I could and can. <laughs> could. Could. I could. Uh, friends with the honorary assistant pioneer uh, the Boron. There we go. Attack. All right, uh, I want to do that manually. I'm in fear that if I will leave the Raptor, someone will come and destroy it. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm fearful. Is there anybody docked? Cobra, Jaguar, Jaguar. All right, Jaguar, come dock and wait. 
Still haven't done. Um... Oh no, my butt. No! How do I get up again? <laughs> I have a button on my VKBs to get up. What do you what do you press to get up? Uh damn it. I don't want to do that and get up. What what do you press to get up? Oh? No. Z is like in uh Star Citizen. L? K? Damn it. Backspace? <laughs> Ah, oh, shoot! Control D. Oh, well, okay. That's an issue. All right, all right, all right, all right. Interesting. That's an issue. Oh god, okay, I know what happened. Oh no. Ooh, I know what happened. Give me a second. Because I actually, I actually, this, um, uh, how do I describe that? I configured everything a little bit different. So not only with those two sticks, but I think. Thank you. Welcome on board. I, th I think the uh, configuration is a little bit messed up because I routed another device through the left stick and it is this one here. This is another one. It actually doesn't work with X4 at the moment. Uh, this one here is really cool with stuff and things and buttons and dials and whatsoever. Um, it doesn't really work at the moment in X4. I don't know why, but I guess because I removed it, the configuration is a little bit... Uh, messed up. Hmm. Let me try to put it on five. And see if it works. I just. Right. Here it is. That's how it looks like. And it's on. You see the. No, you cannot see the colors. Can you? Oh, it's very dark. Anyway, let's just put it on to. Maybe it works now. Oh. Yeah, there you go. That's what I thought. Yep, 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 yep. It is a little bit messed up because I configured it with the other device. Enabled. Yep. Did I miss that? Lanester? I haven't heard it. Soli, hey, welcome on board. Good morning. The boredom of Quinos. <laughs> Sagalhounds, good morning. Welcome on board. Tatsukishi, welcome on board. Kithead, welcome on board. Good morning. <clears throat> He's using some mods. A few of them, yes. I actually broke the game. Damn it. Uh, thanks so much for following Viper Bite. Very much appreciate it. Lanester, thank you very much for the... For the Prime. I don't know why it's not showing up. Thank you very, very much. Maladon, welcome on board. Gam Gomorak, welcome on board. What on earth is that Geiger alien you're using as a controller? New, <laughs> <laughs> I can walk like that. Look at this. New. <laughs> uh. Uh. 
Oh my goodness. Ah! Need to get used to this. Start the game already! Kelnak, morning! Oh my goodness. What is going on? Doesn't work. Another thing that I need to talk about that I don't I don't know that using doesn't work. There's probably a button that I haven't signed uh, assigned yet. Joysticks are cool. They are cool. They're not. They're they're more than Jack cool. Jaguar. Oopsie. And uh, especially with those Cosmo Cosmo Sim cams, Cosmo Sim cams, like the entire. Um, God, I just the, the entire vocabulary about those sticks is so confusing. Um, yeah, so confusing. Hey, Mish, good morning. Welcome on board. Did you get them sent for review? Uh, no. I just got them sent. That's it. We. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, now I see. Now I need to get a little bit further back this is every, everything is so messed up <laughs> this is so messed up i want to get closer to the microphone but i can't get closer now is the time when i really want to have like uh, a different microphone i'm already as close as i can if you have trouble hearing me i i think you, you should not have any trouble hearing me but if you got then then please let me know Oh, we only got a repair laser. Nice. Oh, wait. Oh, just perfectly fine. Great. Coming through five by five. Mutant, thank you so much. Coming through five by five. What does that mean? Ah, wrong mouse. What does that mean? 32 months. Oh my god. Thank you for the prime. Hey Neutron, welcome on board. Good morning. These these are they are so They are so damn precise. And and with the cams with no center, it's like it is absolutely wild you are not bound to a center or anything and you really feel it like you do not feel if you're in the middle but if you let go it is in the middle but if you're like if you grab the stick there is no middle and that's awesome i love that absolutely love that oh wow what's going on crazy Welcome, welcome. Zontar, good morning. Welcome on board. Can one squadron target multiple targets or just one? Um, with the right... Uh, with the right... Assignment, they can target more, I think. I know it's hostess, but that's Entering not system. what sticks star. they are. Oh, exclamation point, uh, Verpil. Exclamation point, Verpil tells you about what they are. Wait, this is travel mode, right? Yes. Oh god, there's like... <laughs> they're, they are so precise that you need to relearn a lot of stuff because there's no... There's no center. I removed the dead zones almost entirely from those sticks. There's like a two... I, th I think maximum 2% dead zone, but in built in the or like through the software a two percent dead zone and no dead zone fi no physical dead zone and it's just it's it's so wild it's so 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 wild never never touched anything anything like that before <laughs> well except for my wife <laughs> uh, 
call it double stick. <laughs> it's a bit more muffled, but it's fine. Yeah, there you go. I, I, I thought so. If you have 10 fighters set to intercept, they can go after different targets. Yeah, that's exactly that. Entering system. Oh, Heretics look at that. Just, end. just at the... Oh, this is so cool. Look at that. Slight touch. <laughs> Excellent strength and clarity of signal. Great. Ah, uh, so looking at the site, approximately twelve hundred euro for the pair. Um. Yeah, that's about right. With. With desk clamps and everything, that's about right, yeah. Thinking of getting the same next month, hey desert. Or dessert. Welcome boy. Crazy, why next month? At the moment they got 8% off. Uh, if you take a look at the website, I don't know how long that lasts. At the moment they got 8% off because of their 8th birthday. I have no until until 22nd March. So if you can make it somehow this month, do it this month. Serious. And oh, I system. knew it. Watch I knew it. Days. I knew it. Raptor under attack. Just what I thought. Wait, why is this? Why is this even a thing? Why are you even calling me? Are you kidding me? What? Wait, what? Why are they even calling me? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Why are you... Why are you fleeing? Seconds. Awaiting orders. I'm confused. Um... Give me a second before anything else happens. Um... Escape and deploy laser towers? No. Use judgment. Retaliate. Pirate harassment, attack. Okay, great. Same with you. Awesome. Retaliate. Please disperse. Nothing to see here, awesome. please. So yeah, like I said, uh, Verpil at the moment, 8% off with the code Verpil8. Uh, I'm not affiliated or not sponsored by them. I just want to say that. I'm not affiliated or sponsored by Verpil. I have no contractual obligation. We have no contract, no nothing, nothing. It's just simply, they were asking, are you interested in those sticks? I said, yes, they sent them over. That's it. If I am uh, overly hyped because of those, this is just because I'm overly hyped because of those. It's 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 pure emotion at the moment. <laughs> Nothing else. Just want to be just want to be clear about that, okay? Not affiliated, not sponsored. Nope. No money, no contract, nothing. All right? Not a single cent. I'm just if if I'm hyped I'm just I'm just hyped. Emotional. So damage. funny to see you that happy. My reaction was the same as I first tried out a gimbal of this kind. <laughs> there you go, Mish. <laughs> I was so like I said I never played with those before. Oh, I need a uh, I need a button for pause. <sighs> Left or right stick. Good my happy. Oh, just a happy, happy, happy guy. Oh, just a look at that. A happy, oh, the happy left dog. Left stick. I need it on the left stick. Um, need pause button on the stick. Oh, I should have removed everything else. Oh, damn it. Wait, give me a second. Get up from chair. I don't know what that is. Toggle radar mode, toggle anything. Don't do that. Hello. Toggle turret aiming. I need to 
remove everything that I haven't assigned myself because those buttons are completely, completely wrong. All of them are so wrong. I do not have a D-pad, for example, anymore. So this is all wrong. Scan object, no idea which button number 10 is. I have absolutely no clue. Um, pause. Where is it? Pause. There it is. This one. Yeah, great. All right. Awesome. Absolutely freaking lootly no clue. Uh, Farrell, hey, welcome boy, good morning. They're calling you because they already have full damage and took a hit. <laughs> Makes the pilot panic. <laughs> oh, that's why. Not sponsored, I just like them. Yeah, exactly. People are hyped about presents. Yep. They do look cool. Well, the look is one thing. I don't really care about the look that much. I don't really care what they... What they, I mean, it's, it's really nice for you to look at them, I guess. But, for example, the entire stick is completely metal. You know what that means? Especially, like, when you have a problem like me that you get, like, very fast, very warm hands and... Uh, Let's just call it, they're getting sweaty. When you have metal uh, sticks, those sticks can absorb and... Uh, like... Dissipate the heat way, way better. And that way you're running way less into the issue of sweaty palms. While also enjoying your mom's Entering spaghetti. Entering system, barren shores. What the heck? If that's the button, right? Yeah, exactly. Ah, ah, like I said, need to relearn that since there's no, there's no center. Everything is just so sensitive. Don't need a contract to love the war bird gimbal and Connie sticks. Yeah, true. With that setup, you should play Digger Sim. <laughs> yeah, the only thing that's missing, I'll be I'll be completely honest, the only thing that's really missing in those sticks is force feedback. Damn. Force feedback would be crazy. <laughs> that's the only thing that I that I miss a little bit. I went from Thrustmaster Hotex X to X52 Pro to Warthog to these. Wow. These are by far different class to all the others. Even the Warthogs. Crazy. Can't stay long. Have, fu have fun. Thank you, Mish. Have a good one. Mishy, Mishy. <laughs> Iron sticks smooth as well in third person. Uh... What do you mean in third person? Why would they not be as smooth? Entering system, Great Reef. Awesome. Uh, dissipate. Yeah, I know. <laughs> What does it mean when the entire stick is metal? You drop it and your foot will break before the stick breaks. Yeah, that's true too. Yeah. <laughs> Once you have ridden a motorcycle for a few months, you forget sweaty palms being a problem. Well, why that? I have driven a motorbike for 10 years now, I guess. I have my mo yeah, I, I think I bought my motorbike 10 years ago. Entering system, sanctuary of Ooh, darkness. Wait, stop, stop, stop. Oh, 
horse feedback. Your ship gets destroyed and you get tased. <laughs> There's a lot of space empty in this game. Um, well, the, to be honest, yes. Ghost Goblin, welcome on board, by the way. To be honest, yes. Force feedback would probably break your table the way it bounced about. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Hope you get your muscle memory sorted on the new sticks soon. Well, we'll we'll find out, especially like in in games like Star Citizen and Elite Dangerous, where dogfighting is way more sophisticated than in X4. Sorry, X4, but it's just the way it is. I don't know why, but I get hyped when camera moves smoothly while looking around the ships. It feels so cinematic. We, Hello? Um, a pair of those sticks for me would be about 550. You sure? Are you really looking at the constellation? Uh, Constellation Alpha Prime. And not just the Alpha, because it seems like it's just the Alpha. And it's just the sticks. You're not having a base. Yeah, yeah. So if you... Can I show you that somehow? No, I cannot detach the stick at the moment. But you can... You have like... 550 is just the stick. Without the base. Yeah. It's it's wild. It's absolutely wild. I'd be honest. I I would, in 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 my situation, I would be far away from being able to buy them. Like they are ex. They, this is so cool. They're extremely cool. Especially like I love the no center thing. Wow, that's so wild. I think I will change this stick here. To something else i will change um half of the cams to actually having a center in this direction here strafing left and right i want strafing left and right having a center because um yeah that would make way more sense by, by flying a ship so it stays better in the middle and strafing does have a, does have a center i i removed the center here also entirely but I feel like I have to I have to switch that again. Which motorcycle do you have? I got my Trident 660. Last year, ooh, I got a BMW 600 F F600 F600 GS. Once again, BMW F600 GS uh from 2000. It's 24 years old. Wow. This looks nice though. Lots of nice background. Yep. Entering system. Kingdom because of the eight. gloves? You think so? You know that I got... My BMW has got heated... Uh, has got a... Uh, uh, heated grips. And you, you can get a little bit sweaty with them. <laughs> oh, this is just, this is all so, wait, give me, give me a second. This is all so far away. I'm, I'm like sitting like this to just simply read the chat. Okay, I need to make it way, way, way bigger. To be comfortably, 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 God damn it, comfortably sitting back here. Hard, hard day. I'm so stressed out. Also, I'm, I'm uh, as a heads up, I need to leave on point at 4 p.m. because there's more stuff happening today. And uh, yeah. Oh, plan is under attack. Okay. What's your dream bike? Ooh, I cannot answer that. At the moment, I would probably say a... At the moment, I would probably say... Oh, God, what's the... 
I forgot. Uh, Yamaha MT9 at the moment. But I don't know. I, I was I, I tried an MT7, a Yamaha MT7, and it was amazing. Uh, loved it. I was that it was <laughs> completely different, different bike than what I got. <clears throat> so you need two times space and the sticks. Yes, exactly. The base will have a base plate that you can uh, um, that you can put on the base. So you don't need like clamps or anything, um, desk clamps or anything, but you need the base and the sticks. Yes. The thing is that Verpil is very modular, so you can you can choose which kind of base you want and which kind of sticks you want. Because, for example, the base that I got at the moment, the Warbird, yeah, is getting serious. the Warbird base is. Um, does not have that much leverage. Oh, no, the, the, wait, the base that I got right now is, um, cannot operate that good if you have a high leverage. So if you're using, for example, sticks with an extension, you would need another base. And so that way, Verpil has got everything basically modular, so you can build it the way you want it to. If you would, if you would probably fly like a uh, like a helicopter setup, where you have like one of those sticks with a with an extension that is that long and it's like really low, so that you can be very precise with your movements and everything, uh, you would need, for example, the mongoose base. As I read, I, I don't know, I don't have the experience, but the mongoose base is tighter and can work better if you got a high leverage. You know. It's uh, and and then you can pick the the base and the the sticks separate from each other, so you can get like those space sticks, or you can get like an F eighteen stick or whatever you want. You know, I think they have F eighteen sticks or something like that. Some 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 aircraft sticks they they also got. Can I look on their EU site and those grips were 250 EU by themselves. Oh yeah, you can buy... If you're on the website, if you're on the Verpal website, you can go um, to where to buy in the menu. There's home, shop, support, news, forum, and then where to buy. And there's Verpal UK, Verpal North America, Verpal EU and the rest of the world, and Verpal China. <laughs> So you need to choose the one that is uh, that is yours to see the to see the right prices. Okay, and now I want to know what's going on there. Ah. Okay. Interesting. Uh, what holders do you use? Exclamation point verbal. Just swapped today. They're completely new. I've never tried them before. The first time I'm pl I'm really playing in the game with them. I calibrated those sticks yesterday. Have them since last week, but I calibrated them yesterday. What did that? What the heck did I do? Yeah, like I said, Gandak, if I would need to pay for them myself, I would be far away from getting something like this at the moment. Hey, Elf Destruct, welcome on board. Just came over from st from Steam Stream. <laughs> nope. <laughs> this is <laughs> the Steam Stream is something that Egosoft put up with my old streams. Uh, they asked me for permission to use the old streams for for Steam, and I approved that. So, this I think at the moment this is the Boron run they are showing, and it's a a vanilla unmodified run, and that was also important for the Steam page to have an unmodified run. My BMW in 2001 was about 18 years old. It's the constant rain in the UK. The gloves get soggy. <laughs> True. 
<laughs> well, you got kind of the same problem when you're riding the Alps. Because it can rain every single day, right? I was looking at maybe getting an F900 GS. If you want to ride a GS, really try out a GS. Because GS are... They are different motorbikes. GSs, they they just simply they, they are different. Now that I uh, I tried the Yamaha MT7 and the Suzuki, God, what was it called? The Suzuki. Well, I think another 700 cc bike or an 800 cc bike from Suzuki. I don't know, but those are completely different. My clutch is really aggressive. <laughs> MT7 clutch is really aggressive. You think so? No, I would say mine is, is more aggressive. A K100. Oh, I know those. Yeah. A chain drive ever. <laughs> a shaft drive. Oh, I know what you mean. Yeah. My wife does have a, sh a shaft drive. Yeah. But they are also heavier. Anthroposimus, hey, welcome on board. Good morning. Entering reflected stars. Which one do you recommend for X4 and similar? Wait, what do you mean, which one I recommend? At least the Warbird is 100 less than the Mongoose, which was the one I priced up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the Mongoose is only, like, like I said, if you have uh, something with with high leverage, then you would probably go for the Mongoose instead of the Warbird. But that's... Everything that I say is based on YouTube reviews that I watched before or after I got those sticks. So I'd like... No idea. These are the only ones that I use. I've never used anything more expensive than the VKBs before today. Okay, I'm prone to electronics weirdness. Oh yeah, and the entire bike was weird because it felt like it was shaky. Although I didn't understand where it came from. You know, I uh, I accelerated and the, the bike became shaky, and I was like, "What the hell is going on? Like, I'm not shaky. What is what what is this? Anyway, I'm I'm not going to buy a Suzuki. This, this, these are not my bikes, but I like the Yamahas." I also like that the light, that the Yamahas are so light. I don't care that they are made out of plastic. They are light that for. That's amazing. Love it for taking trips. Nice. God oh, damn, this is just this is so responsive. It's freaking amazing. What do the red orbs in the highway do? Slow you down? No. No. I don't know what you mean by red orbs, if I'm honest. I played this game for so long, I have no idea what kind of red orbs you mean. <laughs> Sticks and base? I... Like I said, this is the first time I'm actually playing with those. I have no idea. Never had any verpils in my life before. Um, I can only say that those feel great. But they are also damn expensive. I know that. Oh, nice. Oh, cool. Uh, what type of hotas is that? Exclamation point verpil. I prefer heavier bikes. It's hilarious to see people try stealing them. <laughs> Madman. <laughs> this is such a madman. <laughs> you sometimes bounce off on off highways. I find it hard to enter them. Yeah, sometimes. I sometimes I just simply miss the miss them. Uh, not happening that often anymore, but sometimes it happens. In X rebirth, they slowed you down. There you go. 
Where does the Whirlpool Sticks compare to your old VKB ones? Much more precise. Much heavier. Metal instead of very, very good plastic. The VKB has got very good plastic. But still, metal. Very nice. Um, extremely precise. But... But there are a few things which I would like to change on those. And you're also missing quite some buttons and some uh, inputs if you're only using the verbal ones. The VKBs do have additional inputs that you do not have on these bases. And, uh, and the VKBs are smaller. That's also if if you like if 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 <sighs> sheer size is a thing because you do not have that much room or like you're limited in space, that is definitely something to keep in mind. The VKBs do use way, way, way smaller footprint on your table than those. And, and the price, I mean, we're talking, someone said 1200 before, I would just simply say 1200, I don't know, I didn't pay for them, sorry, I'm, I have no idea. Um, I would say 1200 compared to 400, yeah, 400, I guess. So, uh, yeah, that's a thing. That's a thing. I mean, uh, we're talking about not not only enthusiasts, but deep pocket enthusiasts. <laughs> I would say, but they are extremely nice. Uh, they 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 oh, so smooth. Extremely customizable. Like I will, you will probably you will see my video about them. Oh, see, that's what I meant. I missed missed the thing. Um, highly customizable. The VKBs are customizable a little bit, but way less than the Verpils. Still very nice. Oh, I need to get up. Ah, oh, stop! I have a, I have the moment problems with um, with pushing the right buttons but that's just a thing to get used to uh, like like i said first day day number one okay we have scanner mode on wait what no not sita <laughs> that's what i meant i need to get used to them when i first used the vkbs i was also like ah this is weird ah that's weird oh why are the vkbs like that after a year of, of no problem at all perfect sticks the probably will the same will happen with those Lighting orange orbs in the blue gate we went through. I, they're not doing anything at the moment. The bandit 600, the one with the 750 bottom, and it was a nightmare for trying to eat its riders. Oh, I th oh, okay. Yeah, like I said, I'm not a Suzuki person. The gates with blue. With orange and blue. Oh yeah, if you have like, if you have high, uh, not highways. The, how are they called? Not jump gates. What are they called? Super highways. So super highways. You have you have two of them next to each other always. One is orange. One is blue. Blue is always the entry. Orange is always the exit. You mean that? I don't know. Hey, evil way. Welcome, boy. Good morning. What's your goal today next for? I will grab myself a Hydra and we're going to uh, pirate. Docking I want to I want to use those sticks and what's the best way of using those sticks then in pirating and dog fighting. So I am grabbing myself the license, then I'm buying myself a Hydra and then we're going Successfully done. pirating and dog fighting. We're phase, we're phase two 
welcome you aboard. That's one thing that is weird. You need to use your keyboard and mouse. This is like... This is weird. Hey, Danny. Welcome aboard. Good morning. Uh, you can get the Hodas pre-built of their site for 650. Ah, uh, you don't know. Like, ooh, I, I don't know. If, if you get those pre-built and you're not uh, satisfied with them, you still need to change some stuff. Like I said, I for the first stick, it took me about an hour to change the cams and the springs and everything. And then I did it again on the other stick. And that took me about 15 minutes because I already knew what I was doing. But you, like, you'll probably, you, you probably want to customize them. Especially, like, the, the cams, the springs, the, you know, stuff like that. You can even have, like, you can even have, like, different, um, a, a, a different, different strength of springs on different axes, you know? So if I want to have... Um, if I want to have a stronger spring for strafing because I want to keep this more like a more like a throttle back and forth and whenever I'm strafing I want to I want to be the strafing to to be harder than 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 the normal throttling you would need to change all of that so it's very very customizable Looks like you're getting fancy there. Yeah. Probably. What's the problem with superhighways? There's no problem with superhighways. We have been watching your accomplishments with great interest and believe you deserve a reward for it. I am pleased to Why present you a new rank within the queendom. You will find that this rank comes with wondrous benefits. These benefits are tied to the rank. So if you lose the rank, the benefits will go too. But with your character, I am sure we have nothing to worry about. I hope you find these rewards acceptable. Please make the most of them. You may now find that certain organizations within the Boron Queendom will take interest in you joining their ranks. Once again, I thank what? you for your continued efforts. We look forward to working with you more in the future. Pleasant travels. No, 1000% not. Thank you, Erename. Hey, Arsenal. Hey, Cake Witch. Good morning. What is what is that? Six degrees of freedom sticks. What is that? Uh. Pleasant travels. Thank you. Would you like to buy a blueprint? I don't think so. Pleasant travels. Goodbye. All right, we can now. Grab ourselves a Hydra. Nice. Nice. Um, can I get a different paint job? Not there, huh? Where do I buy different paint jobs? Also, do I want eye anatomizer? I hate those. Face scanning. Only rail guns? Nah, you don't want to have only rail guns. Nah, you don't want to have only rail guns. That doesn't make sense. Not for not for pirating. Iron pulse to it, that's fine. Um Get yourself some laser towers. Six years of freedom means slide in any direction, rotate in any direction. Damage is getting serious. Huh? Are those like where you put your hand in and you move like weird? Awaiting orders. You buy it with merchants and encrypt them by redesign on the ship. Ah, yeah, okay. Interdiction probe? 
Yeah, those are those are all those those are the modded ones. Chill something. Also, hostile detection satellite survey sur resource survey unit. Those are modded. And there should be also another one. Wait, where is the... They do not have all of the satellites. Ah, well, actually, you know what? I get some marines so that I can uh, deploy them. Oh, hull parts and turret components. Are you kidding me? Okay, no turrets. I'll put the turrets on uh, at the equipment dock. Wait, let me see. Six degrees of freedom. Joystick? Sublight dynamics. Are those the one? 6DOF joystick? Sublight dynamics? Early access. Oh, yeah. So I still doesn't use the 6DOF, but there were talks they are going to remove it. Huh. What do you mean can't believe I switched sticks? Why that? Why that? Uh, what did I miss? Wait, um, equip. Do we have some inside info about the 7.0 beta start? Chat. <laughs> Pull all strafe commands on hand movements, moving the controller up, down, side to side, in front and back, along with the usual commands. Oof. Okay, so, okay. Those others were badass? I am not denying that. VKBs are badass. For the price, they offer extremely good controls. Yeah. But I also have to say... They found someone su superior to them. <laughs> um, okay. Wait. Where is... Where's an equipment dog? Wait, why am I not buying it here? Stop the monitor. Oh, no, not the monitor. The Hydra. Stop that. Why am I not buying it here? Yeah, there you go. Turret component, weapon components. Are you kidding me? Damn it. Wow, already two years. Hey, Reborn! Thank you so much! Two years! Congratulations! Lieutenant Reborn! Finally moved up and you do not need to share rooms anymore. Lieutenants get their own rooms. Congratulations. Got your own room. Now off to all the important tasks as Lieutenant. Uh, that didn't really change that much. Now we need to wait. Or Nah, I just ah, I only have only have a Jaguar with a with a repair laser. <laughs> Otherwise I could probably try to um try to pirate a Hydra. But I only got a repair laser. That's um Difficult. <laughs> Pretty
pretty difficult. Hello. Will you do a video in the future? Yes, I need to try them first a little bit more. Um, that's why we're going to play. This is the first day that I'm playing with those. I uh, calibrated them yesterday. And uh, today's the first day that I'm actually in a game. And yeah, I will do a video. I I filmed the entire unboxing. I filmed the entire switch of springs and cams and everything. Um, I also filmed like the attaching to the mounts and uh, connecting them to the PC and calibrating them and the software and everything. Everything's recorded. It, it will just take a little bit. It's not like it's a new product and I need to have it, you know, published tomorrow or something. So I will take my time. I will do a good video about it. BKB shipping is too expensive in the US. Ah. Twelve degrees of freedom. Uh, repair laser is the deadliest weapon. I doubt that. Here you go. Ooh. 26 Wait, that was actually That was Spotify, that was not you Okay Um. Oh my goodness What is going on here? Four and a half million What did I miss? Pleasant travels. Was that the last... What Was that last time's massive fight where I just... Uh, role-played as a vacuum? Hey, Bersa Wolf. Welcome on board, by the way. Sheldy, thank you for the hydration. Oh my god. Yeah, this is, everything's too far away. Oh god, Shadi, cheers! Oh, yikes. I should drink more, you're right. My head coach said we should drink today a lot. Uh, we will have, we, we, we're going to have combined practice tonight. Some of you maybe know that I'm playing flag or I'm, I'm, I'm playing and coaching flag football and uh, tonight we have combined practice with some teams in Munich. So we're we're going to Munich tonight and have combined practice with three other teams. That would be cool. It's like the first time that we're playing against someone else than just us. Here you go. Before the season starts. That's a bad price. I can get 400. I can get almost 600,000 credits more if I just wait a little bit. Uh, interface units, I can sell those. And band. I can sell those damn bandages. Bandages are so useless. <laughs> Sedatives. Sedatives? Also useless. Needles? Useless. Nobody's using first aid kits. You don't even have a health bar! Why would you use that first aid kits if you don't have a health bar? Wait. What? What? Is there, what, what is that good for? Can you sell them? First aid kit. What is that good for? You just sell them, huh? For the mission. Wow. Um, M. Encyclopedia. First aid. First aid is a standard issue medical res emergency resource containing a range of dressings, dis disinfectants, and basic medications. Okay. Black rugby. Not sure how you fit all the players and the and into the black. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. 
Hey Udo, good morning, welcome board. Sell them for more. For your one star marines. <laughs> hey, that would be cool if you could give this a first a, if you could give the marines a first a kit. And then they get like a third star or like half a star? Half a star? No, a third star. Or whatever. They get they get some something a little bit better. That's nice. That would be cool. Okay, well then. Seven first aid kits. Let's see if I can sell those. Hello. Hello. Here you go. Here you go. Where are they? First aid kit. There. 10,000. Is that more money than before? Yeah, that's absolutely more money than before. All right. I keep the rest. Awesome. Pleasant travels. Hey JB, good morning. Do you think they'll ever fix the way the AI uses the Asgard? Hey, Snap soon. Thank you so much for the subscription. Thank you, thank you. Welcome on board. Uh, I'm tired of them getting destroyed by Xenon stations and not firing their main weapons. I don't know. I really don't know. I uh, saw a complaint about destroyers this week on YouTube. And the thing with destroyers at the moment is that you need to find the right... You need to find the right command for using them. Because destroyers are absolutely capable of destroying stations without getting too close. But you need to find a good way of doing so. Uh, they are not... Like, I cannot sell any anything else here, huh? Security decryption system. That would be great if I could sell it here. But I can't. Feed them to level up with chemicals. <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Exactly what I'm talking about. You are there supposed to most of the time, but the Asgard is totally useless in the AI's hand. It's working a little bit better out of system, though. You need 29 rep with criminal factions to sell these items. 29? 29, that's so... Is that the right word? Arbitrary? Yeah, that's the right word. So arbitrary. <laughs> I want to be in system and watch the battles. Well, well, then why don't you use the Asgard yourself? All right, here we go. A little bit muffled again, huh? Damn. I need the microphone as close as I can, but I also do not want to mess with the stickies. There you go. That's all I can do. I cannot I cannot do better. <clears throat> oh wait. Let me change that really quick. Um controls. Like I said, I have not done anything yet. Target management. There you go. Target objective. The closest object? No. Not the closest. Tar closest hostile. Target. Set the closest object as the new target. How do you... Wait. Target the one in front of me.
Okay, deselect target is that one. Next target. Previous target. That should be this. That should be that. All right. Next surface element. I don't know if I want to do that. Oh, wait. Safe profile. I'm doing a profile right now for those sticks. I can hear you well on my PC. There was no drop in sound very clear. No, it's no drop. It's just like that. I need to position the microphone a little bit different. Also, actually, I should be that far away to be comfortable. To be comfortable, it should be that far away. It's probably a little bit muffled. New dolphin or on wharf. Um. Um, request landing. I need that. Hello. Oh. Uh, what is this? Request landing. Camera, target, misc. Dock. That one. All right. Ah, get up from chair. Cool. Uh, probably. Uh, probably. This Two years. Alter falter. Alter falter. <laughs> Diddy, thank you so much. Two years, another one. Lieutenant Diddy, <laughs> thank you so much. Man, we need more rooms. I need to tell the I need to tell the quartermasters we need more rooms. Diddy needs another room too. I guess you just had like a uh, what do we what do we call this? You had you had a shared room with Reborn together, and now both of you. Leveled up today, leveled up, well, uh, got promoted, <laughs> got promoted to lieutenant, and now you both get your own room. Cool. <laughs> Congratulations. A lot of, a lot of new tasks are waiting for you. Thank you very much, Diddy. <laughs> okay, wait, uh, save, save, save. Captain, Jelnak, just recruited five new crew member. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, thank you! Thank you for recruiting the Kraken, JJ Barlon, Opterip, uh, Vernier, and Arthur Beach. Thank you! Enjoy 25 points. Captain, Jig70, just recruited 10 new crew member. Thank you, Diddy. <laughs> Thank you, Diddy, for 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 um uh recruiting ten new members, Nordish Meat, Calderson. 
Laminate. <laughs> Simple man. Night Song. Ooh, nice. Maybona, Lou, Hackett, Obsidian Panda, and Morleont the Mystic. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What is that gamepad? What a gamepad. What's a gamepad? Alcar. Just recruited five new crew member. You crazy. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Oh my god. Thank you, Alcar, for recruiting another five. Rigged Noodle, Eraser, Captain Hotze, Flecton, and Cirellis. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I just wanted to actually get up and, and say hi to the Admiral, but <laughs> I, I would feel bad to leave you right now. But I need to. I need to. Give me. Please give me. Just 30 seconds to say hi to her, okay? <laughs> Thank you. Look at my happy, happy guy. Oh, just a happy, happy, happy guy. Oh, just a look at that happy, oh, the happy dog. Sorry, 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 sorry. That was important. Ah, I, I think I will. That's like the last time I will see her until. I think 12 p.m. or something. I think that's the last time that I see her today until 12 p.m. Yeah. Uh, it's like I said, they're combined practice and stuff. Ooh, crazy. Crazy! Lots of ship being destroyed. Wait, what? I think a ship got blown up. I, I saw that a boa got blown up. I saw that there was a boa. A boa got destroyed. Oh, wait, here. Oh, shoot. What the? F morning star, morning star. Heretics end. Perinit. Perinit, Perinit. Perinit, Perinit, Perinit. Okay. 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 There's a morning star. Guiding star. Oh! oh! I 
I lost the sector. Oh. I lost the sector. No way. You know how, lo how, how long ago that is that I lost the sector? Oh my god. Hype train level 6. Got one for you. Three, two, one. That was perfect, Gilnek. <laughs> that was not what I. <laughs> okay, one more time. Three, two, one. Oh, hello. <laughs> Why is that so difficult to keep that sector? We need to destroy... We need to destroy something. We need to destroy... Stuff. We need to destroy two specific sectors. <laughs> Bing <-jiling. laughs> Ojolero, Freddy Foster. What a fabulously magnificent development. The provinces adrift finally have a fully functioning shipyard. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. Okay. Okay. Merc, welcome, welcome on board. Welcome, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> oh boy. Um where's my hydron? The still turret components and weapon components, they're not bringing that stuff. It is probably faster to buy myself a dolphin. Standard dolphin. Buying a standard dolphin and then using the dolphin to um, supply the wharf. <laughs> Wild. Absolutely wild. Okay, there's the dolphin. What's happening there? Buffalo. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Uh. Hey Eli, good morning, welcome board. Alright, so we need... You're not even buying anything. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I know. Are you kidding me? Turret and weapon components.
Wait. Um. Oh. Okay. Docking granted. Okay. Oof. All right. With this, with, with these sticks, it would be nice to docked. fly without any um, docking assistance. That would be cool. We're pleased to welcome you aboard. Be guided missile. No. Advanced satellites. Yeah. I like that. Can you try these sticks on Star Citizen? Absolutely 100%. Yes. Absolutely, 100%. Um, okay, well, whatever. Doesn't matter. Deploy advanced satellite. Oh, I already got an advanced satellite. Uh, already got one here. <sighs> well, we need to fly back anyway. There you go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Get him, boy. Boom. Dead. Dead. Okay, great. At least that's handled. Um... Red. Alert. Rasu rated space operations Delta with nine viewers. Rasu! Thank you so much. Jin dobre. Shima. Welcome, welcome. Grabek. Shima. Jin dobre. What are you playing? X4 Foundations. I knew it. Raven Scar. Shima. Welcome aboard. Good morning. For everyone that doesn't know, Shima is like, hey, what's up in Polish? Or how are you doing in in in, in Polish? Boski Boom Boom. <laughs> That's a nice name. <laughs> oh, good. So fast, but still so slow. So I will put these sticks so uh, for for the f uh, for the future for the next week or two. I will put those sticks in uh, in some heavy testing in Star Citizen and Elite Dangerous. And then we're going to then we're going to see how they perform. And uh, I can give you a very a, a way way better opinion. Of those after those three games x4 star citizen and elite dangerous i guess there are are there any other space games that require very good controls <clears throat> freelancer 2 Is that even the thing <laughs> Joshua, hey, welcome on board. Good morning. Haven't run into any issues with the AI running the Asgard against the Xenon destroyers. There you go. Must perform good after all. They are top of the top. True. Kerbal Space Program. Well, what about a... Leaving uh, orders. Just flight simulations. So DCS and, micro, uh, and Microsoft stars. Flight Simulator, huh? Oh, Squadrons. 
That's a good one. Star Wars Squadrons is actually a good one. A hey, holy good morning. A Vorian. <laughs> no, Squadrons is, I think. Could be nice, yeah. Yeah, definitely put that on the list. That's that's very, very good. Very good. Thank you. Um No, I'm, I still don't have all the buttons assigned that I need. Okay, here we go. There we go. What does that mean? Why can I not? Nobody's buying that stuff. Boski, yeah. Uh, Jinkuyo Bardzo. Thank you for the follow. Thank you so much, uh, Rashi, for the raid. Hope you had a great oopsie. Hope you had a great oopsie. <laughs> Hope you had a great explore stream. By the way, 199 right now on Steam. What? Avorion. Spaceborn 2. Yeah, but Spaceborn 2, this is not like... No emphasis on um, on flying. That's what I meant. There were a, a, a space game... With an em emphasis on flying and good controls. Stop it! Uh, is it realistic that I need for a selling shipyard 100 Hellpart factories? No. Absolutely not. I think I had... I had a, a, an, an all-in-one station. So SNM and also L and XL a shipyard. I don't know. It was maybe running with like five Hellpart factories maybe five yeah depends on what you want to do if you want to put out like squadrons and squadrons and squadrons of fighters then maybe yes but usually not I really wish Ubisoft would have expanded on what you could do with the station in Leap of Faith. I desire a story a bit more about it. Station in Leap of Faith. Oh yeah? Station in Leap of Faith. I don't know where all these sectors are. I'm like, I always forget where they are. Always forget their names and everything. System with no gates. Ah! That one here. The alien station. Oh, where you get the... Um... Yeah, yeah, I remember. You capture three Osaka in one sin? <laughs> nice. You prepare for war with the Terran. Well, uh, good luck. <laughs> oh, look at that.
wild. <clears throat> the protectium producer, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, those red dots, this, these are just... Towering way. Now, I rem now I know what you're talking about, um, whoever asked before, about those red, red dots. This is just... This is basically just um, graphics. Nothing special. All right, show me all the stations. There we go. So, <clears throat> we now know all the stations, but the thing is... There is nothing. Turret component factory. Thank you for the follow. Cuddle buff. Nothing. Oh god. Antimatter. All part. All part. Missile. All part. All part. Medical. Weapon component. Nothing. Wow. Weapon component. Nothing. <laughs> Zero. Shield. Scanning. Smart chip. Smart chip. Damn. Damn. They're really out of stuff. Completely out of stuff. Huh. I will wait for ages for that Hydra. Okay, we need a new plan. New plan. Dragon. Ah, uh, I don't know. I've a uh, single shield. Uh, Obra, two shields. Ah. Uh, What about... What about Nemesis? Split in a Nemesis. Hmm. You love the tunes, Eli? You can get those tunes whenever you want. I'm just listening to a Spotify playlist at the moment. It's not in-game. <clears throat> you got Alexei Zakharov too? <laughs> Wait, what? The satellite mod is amazing, yeah. Hey, Stiletto. Uh, do you have a list of mods you run in your safe? Uh, yeah, someone just um, just wrote in chat exclamation point mods. Is 
the dragon good for pirating SM ships because of its lower health? So, thing is, I tried that with lower health ships and I actually do not see a difference. At the end, I, I really... Uh, I really do not see a difference. If you're using an M-Class ship or if you're using an S-Class ship, if you're trying to get like traders, if you're trying to get miners, there is... I haven't really seen a difference. Sometimes with an S-Class ship it takes 10 minutes, sometimes with an S-Class ship it takes 30 seconds, sometimes in an M-Class ship it takes 30 seconds, sometimes in an M-Class ship it takes 10 minutes. It's just... Yeah. Danny, thank you so much for following on Twitch too. Not only on YouTube. Thank you very much. Big old, big old, the but big, big gold, the big gold but done. <laughs> yeah. Welcome on board. You're on your first playthrough. What's the best? Steady money maker, mining, trading, or setting up my station. Um, very simple stations at the start. Very, very simple stations. We call them tier one stations. So those are the ones where you grab just a resource, the miners throw them in your station, you produce something out of it, and you sell the the first product. That's refined metals, graphene, silicon wafers, and another one I forgot. Coolant? <laughs> I don't know, I forgot. The, the best one out of those are probably uh, silicon wafers after that, refined metals after that, graphene after that, superfluid. Superfluid coolant. Yeah. Split can fly all. <laughs> Split can fly all. <laughs> Hey, thank you, Cuddle Buff. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, let's go for this one here. Combat Paranid Engines. Alright, six and a half mil. I can make that in very short... Oh my goodness, what is this? <laughs> Five torpedo launchers. Aha. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. Uh, give me a Pulse Laser Mark 1. Um, give me, uh, give me some plasma at the, at the front, I guess, and some boat repeater there. Nice. <laughs> Heavy torpedoes. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Uh, turrets, beam and beam. Yep, that's about right. And some laser towers. And some marines so that we can board stuff. Oh, look at that! Half the price. Awesome. Advanced electronics. Oh, are you kidding me? Well, advanced electronics is better than other stuff. Could get a Dragon Raider. Like all the other... All the other ones are not usable for us. I should have dropped satellites in Everest though. Okay, yeah, well, um, the Hydra will not do anything. So we got a Dolphin there, which I can put actually on on uh, what's it called dead tater yeah dead tater <sighs> kingdom end one yep max gate distance enable distance penalty yeah 
My faction first. Ignore trade rules. Auto wares. Allow illegal wares. Enable lockbook. All right. Confirm. Does it actually search for trades itself because I did auto wares? Oh, yes, it does. Oh, cool. What do you got? Claytronics. Sell Claytronics. Cool. Well, that was easy. Nice. Uh, a Cigars Battlecruiser. Ooh. Share it with us. What's, what's, like, share it. Oh, you, you are not, um... You're not a crew member. Um, write me a DM. Choo choo. Write me a DM. I can share it. Um, thank you, and you did very well with the name. Feel free to just call me Bingo. <laughs> ah, okay. Oh, okay. It, that's even better. Discord is even better. Nice. Great. Thanks. Um, shared in all chats. There you go. Nico's. What's that called? Cigars. Cigars class. Mark II Battlecruiser. You got Verpal hardware? Yes. Since today. Leos. Uh, exclamation point Verpal. Uh, hey, Kala. Hey, welcome aboard. Good morning. Thank you, Danny. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Pirating, but we need a ship for pirating. This is extremely tedious here. You know what? I buy a few more dolphins and I just let them trade. I don't care. Just buy uh, three more dolphins. Damn, they're missing hull parts. I don't care. Confirm. Tiga Kale, good morning, welcome on board. How you doing? <laughs> oh. What? Alright. Uh, when those are done, I will also give them Dead Tater or Tater Trader or something. One of those. And they will just hopefully just simply make money. Uh, looks like you got two Alpha Prime. Yes. Still very satisfied with the two Alphas. Oh, nice. Crazy. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice. Uh, Tatter trade. There you go. Awesome. Max gate distance for enable distance penalty. All wares. Copy presets. Why that? Um, that's a little bit too complicated for me. Can I just do that trade? That tater? Yeah, that's easier. Just do auto wares, distance penalty, ignore trade rules, allow illegal wares. <laughs> Why not? And confirm. That's easier. Tatter Trader is a little bit too sophisticated. I don't like that. Just use Dad Tater. 
There you go. That's easy. Enable distance, ignore rules, allow illegal wares. Confirm. And another one. That one. That tater. Distance penalty. That that. Confirm. Awesome. There we go. And now, trade. You know what? I will do the same right here. Buy ships. Uh, nope, Demeter. Standard. Or confirm. Great. So now that we got that, oh, there's a cobra. You got uh, advanced satellites? Yeah, ten. Oh, cool. Let's go there. Whoopsie. Uh, would you do by any chance a playthrough of a Vorion with your with your views on a with your viewers on a server? Probably not. <clears throat> not one hundred percent sure. Still, like it's it's like floating around there mid air. Always in the background, but I do not own it. And uh, I don't know. Most likely not, or when there is like some downtime. When I'm waiting for something else. I'm not an Avorian fan. The thing is, it looks a lot like Space Engineers. I don't know about the limitation of Avorian. The limitation of Space Engineers 1 means Space Engineers 2 is coming. But Space Engineers 1 had so many limitations that I lost a little bit the fun of the game. And Avorian looks very similar. And uh, that's why I'm very hesitant. And it's old. <laughs> Entering system. Sanctuary of darkness. Dolphin. Minute, wait, minute, minute, jump high. Minute, wait, minute, minute, jump high. Minute, wait, minute, minute, jump high. Minute, wait, minute, minute, jump gate. King Dolphin. What a beat. Almost a rap song. Nav Beacon. Warren's more like Minecraft, but in space. Yeah, that's also a little bit... That's not a pro for me. That's more like a con. I'm a... Uh... Cobra. I'm, I'm not... I'm not really a Minecraft player. Like the the open world without anything to do and just like here's your world play that's sorry that's mm, I don't like that <laughs> I'm not Bob the Baumeister nope I'm not Oh, see, whenever I'm resting my hand, it gets a little bit down. 
because I'm resting my hand here. And I want to be close to the microphone, but I also need to be far away. I should actually be here. That way I'm resting my hand like that. That's perfect. But then I'm so far away. I need to scream. Danger. Oh. Docking granted. Nice. What you said? <laughs> Successfully docked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um. Hello. Hello. Move all orders. Dolphin, 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 dolphin. Okay, they're actually doing stuff, huh? Hull parts. Nothing. 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 Sell claytronics. Sell hull parts. Field coils. Field coils. Wow, that's great. Hey, Owen, good morning. Found any cashews in stations today? <laughs> no. <laughs> if I would, I would have called 0800 these nuts. <laughs> I haven't found any. Well, I mean, we can start pirating with that thing. Probably. Autopilot engaged. We can start. We can start with that. Let me see one thing. Um, camera. Camera. Zoom in, zoom out. All right. Uh, camera mouse look. Wait, no. Uh, camera left, camera right, camera up, camera down. And Cycle camera view. Wait.
Right. Great. <clears throat> uh, Danger. It has economic simulation though. You can build stations too. Ooh. The Vorian is X4, but open world. What is X4 then? <laughs> X4 is also open world. Uh, two Verpil Alpha Prime with one Z extension. No need for throttle then. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. This is basically the throttle. That's why there is a Z extension. I was even thinking of doing two Z extensions, but... Pod racer, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Rowing simulator. <laughs> now it's more that 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 thing here is more like uh more like a um more like a viking boat. We got no wind. Use the paddles. All right. With the Warbird D, you can use the clutch so it only moves forward and back. Uh, true. True, true, true. But I don't want that. What I Entering want, <clears throat> and I will change. Weave. I will change that that stick here uh, because at the moment I'm using. I'm using no center cams, which are so great on this stick here. But I will probably change two of those cams here and have them centered uh, in uh, this location. Disengaged. What is this? This is the Y axis or something? Yeah, I think this is the Y axis. X axis, Y axis. So the Y axis should have a, uh, a center point. But the x-axis should not have a center point and this one here does not have a center at all and it's amazing absolutely amazing the only thing that really bothers me absolutely bothersome the worst thing about those sticks the absolute absolutely worst thing about these sticks is where the heck do you put two of those when you don't need them like god damn i don't have room for that <laughs> where do you put those they need us they need a place i do not have a place in your pocket i am not an rpg character i cannot just open my backpack and have 300 kilogram of uh unusable space <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> easy easy uh. <clears throat> had to make space under my de side desk to store mine. They are large. Yeah, they are large. They're massive. Dismantle it for crafting materials. <laughs> yeah. Uh, where are we? Here. Mm. Ooh, maybe I want... My satellite in here. Yeah. Autopilot engaged. I need a backpack, an IRL backpack mod. I am. We just found out, by the way, on uh, on Wednesday, we found out that my uh, Skyrim version is not moddable, because I'm using the the PC Game Pass version. And it's basically a console version on PC, so it is not moddable. I cannot use the... what is it called? The script extender or something? Not possible to use. Damn it. 
I do have the special edition, but I cannot use the SKSE, exactly that one. I am using the special edition. I am using... Come, come. Oh, come on. I'm using this here. Autopilot disengaged. The Elder Scrolls Skyrim Special Edition. Not moddable. Not at all. Yeah, I will I will need to play the game without without stripping and banning his enemies. What a shame. <laughs> no no crimes against humanity for uh, for me. Sorry. How agile is that thing? Not really that agile. My girlfriend has the same problem as you. She has no other place to put them when she does not need them. Yeah, that's... At the moment, I'm just store storing them on the floor. But that's like not really an optimal solution. <laughs> Does the character in X4 drag his spacesuit around their different ships? <laughs> yes. Or, 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 hear me out. Every single, um, every single ship has got spacesuits. Teladi Company is now enemies with God Realm of the Paranid. I like that. You cannot see this, but it was what just written there. I like it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Stop. Stop. What's that? You need to be up there. There we go. Why is it so small? Also, another company that is that has got that that outfitted this entire bridge is Nifter. Fantastic, absolutely massive mouse pad. Very durable, awesome looking, and a very nice keyboard. They have an awesome keyboard. This is a 98% keyboard in the size of a 75% keyboard. Very, very cool. And from my hometown. Where I grew up, where I lived for more than 20 years. And they're just like a few hundred meters away from where my best friend lived. Very cool. Exclamation point Nifter, by the way. N Y F T E R. Nifter. Uh... Oh, did you know that a Deus Ex game Entering is system. for Very free at the sure. moment? Awaiting orders. Um, there is Deus Ex Mankind Divided is at the moment free on Epic Game Store. You can just download it and play it completely free this week. Until six days. You got six more days. You missed that? It's in our free games Discord channel. Or Discord, yeah, channel. On our Discord server. I need to grab that myself. Deus Ex hum Mankind Divided. I like Deus Ex. Also a cool game. Never never finished it as a kid because I was a kid. <laughs> because kid. <laughs> but it's a great game. Waiting for Sky Oblivion. <laughs> One second. Ah! Dear Goron passengers, 
we would like to remind you to empty your environment suits only in approved toilet facilities. Ew! 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 <laughs> Arthur, hello! Ew! Yikes! Crazy stuff. Autopilot disengaged. All right. That was important. Thank you for waiting. I am now a little bit more relaxed because I know when the next thing is going to happen. Okay, what's that? Laser Tower Mark One. God Realm of the Perinid. Uh huh. Um. Satellite. Yo. There we are. Hey, what's that? Unknown object? Boron trading station. Nice. Awaiting orders. PSX HR was pretty good. Mankind was not as good, but still enjoyable. Is there a game you're looking forward which will be released this year? This year? Uh, yeah, Homeworld 3! <laughs> Easy! <laughs> Easy answer for this one. Homeworld 3. 100%. After that, I don't know. But damn, Homeworld 3. Absolutely. Um... Autopilot engaged. I never played Horizon, I don't care. Fine oh Final Frontier is another one. Yeah. Final Frontier. Oh actually, oh there are so many games. Final Frontier, Mana Lord, Homeworld 3. Um what else is there? I think those three are the biggest ones for me. Light No Fire. I don't think this is coming this year. Autopilot Isn't it 2025? Disengaged. Yeah, I don't think it's coming this year. Squadron 42. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> no, but for real, um, Homeworld 3, Manor Lords, and Falling Frontier are like the three most anticipated games for me this year. Sector Satellite. Who was that? Abandoned ship. Born a dolphin. Dead. What happened there? <clears throat> Starfield DLC. Uh-huh. Magpie Sentinel Ministry of Finance Magpie okay
Starfield DLC. Oh god, no way. I'm absolutely not waiting for a Starfield DLC. I think if I'm honest, if I'm 100% honest to you, Starfield is probably not going to be a game that is able to fix itself that much that I would enjoy playing it again. And it's just... Nah. Discounts? Skyrim? What do you mean? Is there a Skyrim... Is there actually... Is there a Steam discount for Skyrim now? And I was looking at that like... Two days ago and... There is a Starfield. 33%. Yes? Really? No way. I was just looking at it like two days ago. 9.99! Wait, that, come on! Why don't you work? Hello. Skyrim. Skyri. Skyrim. Are you dumb? There you go. 75% off! Skyrim Special Edition. 9.99! Anniversary upgrade. Wait, what? No, Anniversary Edition. 16.50. Huh. <laughs> Nine! <laughs> Turn Skyrim into space game with mods. <laughs> Starfield is a done game. We play it and now it will rest in the library. Yeah. I'm so, so glad that I haven't, that I didn't need to buy it because it's in the game pass. There was almost the same deal as I showed you. Yeah. But it's not like a stolen key. <laughs> the anniversary edition. I sixteen fifty just to be, to be honest, sixteen fifty just to be able to mod the game. Is that worth it? Fifteen hundred people are writing yes, 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 yes in chat right now. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> ah, I already got already got a game in my cart. View my cart. Look at that. For 988. All the Command and Conquer games. And now for 1650 Skyrim. Uh, are there more good good sales going on before I buy anything? Wait, how much is my cart? 26. That's fine. Is there a sponsor in the chat? <laughs> are there any other good games at the moment on Steam that are... Worth it. Hello, TTS? TTS! TTS! What's going on? Hey, Power. Good morning. Hey, Funk. Welcome on board. 
Mr. Krabs Krabs. <laughs> Alpha Centauri is on, on sale. What is that? <laughs> Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri. TTs. TTs. <laughs> <laughs> We're not in a fight, okay? Bright promise is better. Um, uh, I don't know. Oh, I've seen something very interesting for you. I've seen something very interesting for you. Um, if you have, uh, if you if you do not own it yet, there. Look at that. Rated everyone ten and up. Three euros. If you buy the remastered collection and Deserts of Karak, it's five eighty. Five eighty. Wait, wait. I tried to say it just like the, the streamer that was actually um, the, st the streamer that was that was uh, gaslighting her chat. It's 580 euros. How are you guys sitting hours and hours in this stream and you do not have 580 to buy Homeworld, the complete edition? How is that even possible? <laughs> <laughs> How can you sit here for hours and not have 580 to buy the entire home world bundle? <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> oh, that's like the worst streamer I've ever seen. Damn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that's a, that's a really good bundle. Really, 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 really good bundle. And if you already own like the remastered collection, um, Deserts of Karak itself is just like five five fifty or so, four fifty. Crazy. That's by the way one game that I want to play very soon. We're coming for you, Rachel. Hold out until we get there. Captain Conan would like to remind you. I'm going to play this very soon. Follow this channel and even subscribe. This as a crew member of Space Operation Delta. Next month in April, I'm going to play a full playthrough of Deserts of Karak. Ooh. Mm, nope. Uh, yup. <laughs> ah. Sins of the Solar Empire is on sale. Also a very heavy moddable game, right? Does Deserts of Karak come with the DLC? Uh, Deserts of Karak is a standalone Whoa. game. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Wait, do I have a yes? No. There you go. That's for you. Yep. Ah! Dimitri Senno. There you go. Great. Stop. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> Dad Tater, there you go. Enable distance. There, there. Confirm. Dad Tater, Stop. you violated the law. I haven't done anything. One more thing. And I'm going to yeet you. <laughs> One more time and you're yeeted. <laughs> Brain function disabled. Um, oh, there it is. Nemesis Sentinel. Nice. Uh, come here. Come to me. Where are we going to pirate? What are we going to pirate?
When and where and what? Damn, boy. Oh! Oh! Yes! Come here, find a way. I have an idea. And we're also going to... Turn here. Great. Great, great, great. Okay, I better be prepared and be an adult in a few hours. <laughs> All right, Tiger Kralle. All right. See you later. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell yeah. 100% hell yeah. Good, uh, the Admiral left the, the building. Entering system, heretics end. Oh, the Elnock with the Hydra. Perfect, you can read minds. Cheers. Oh god, you're so far away. Uh, oh, too far away, I'm sorry. Cookie, good morning. Waiting orders. First thing I'm going to do is like replace the pilot. Trying to reach across an ocean will do that. <laughs> Wait, you're calling the North Sea an ocean? Why would you need a wool update? Yeah, there is an update actually. Starting today, we're going to pay him. Eight percent less for shipping or something. But you still need to pay the same, ha. Huh? <laughs> Entering system, Morning Star. Neo, welcome on board. Gumo. Attention. Toilets are currently out of order. 
service will resume after rebooting the plumbing system. The very... <laughs> What's going on today? It's very toilet heavy. I get that reference. Autopilot disengaged. It's a it's a toilet theme today. <laughs> Mom, bathroom. <laughs> oh no, wrong. Oh shit. Um. Ah. Here. You you missed one, yeah, from Lady Death. Nemesis Sentinel. There we go. Awaiting orders. Ah, the raptor. Um, the raptor <clears throat> is actually uh, repairing itself, which is kind of funny. It's already better than before, 58%. It was down to 30. Hmm. The monitor's here. Nice. I think Pulse. All right. Uh, software, 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 software. Cargo, defense, repair drones. Yeah. All right, confirm, great. So we are going to this sector, I think. I don't know, let me check my, <clears throat> let me check my spoiler channel. Boink. Yeah. This here. This is the reason. This is the reason for... Oopsie. This here is the reason. See that purple? We need to eradicate that purple. I don't care if those two sectors will be red. I don't care. But this sector here, something we need to eradicate. All right. Fancy up where you got there. How does it feel? How does it feel? Oh God, it feels really good. The thing is in X4, at the moment, I'm not really using it too much. Since I actually, I was waiting for exactly this ship to finally be there. Uh, we're switching to the Nemesis Sentinel. And I will be pirating in that one. You need a command for points where you uninstall X4 for a week and only play War Thunder. <laughs> oh, War Thunder is another thing that you could possibly play with those, right? Stay, stay, stay. Uh, shocking, not possible. Control to fire. Cobra. Is 
Stop. Don't move. Wow, this is so fluid right now. Did you have that day at the office? <laughs> what? Nister, hey, welcome on board. Good morning. Sentinel. Docking granted. Nister, good morning. How are you doing? Can we pirate in an elite with a pulse mark one and no shields? You can try to. It's possible. Closed hatch. Owen, closed hatch. This is a modified game. <laughs> Wait, 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 Stop wait. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> Nister, what's your actual job? What's what's your actual job? <laughs> oh wow. Hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. I look at my chat to the right. 60% of my chat is basically Egosoft employees. It's 3 p.m. on Friday. You have like a half day on Friday. Just asking. Spot the bugs in a modified game and then complain that you're not fixing any bugs because it's modified. Genius. Genius. Thank you. I'm not not paid or sponsored. <laughs> I'm not paid or sponsored. Did that just change? Do I need to put? Do I need? Wait. Sorry. 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 Right now. Sponsored stream. Welp. Not an independent journalist anymore. Now I'm bored. Exactly. I'm now bought, manipulated. Hello there. Um. Um. One sided. Yeah. 
this spring can't get more specific just yet um spring like in 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 in, in calendar spring or spring like in uh, actual <laughs> you know environment spring <laughs> because calendar spring we're already in like for Two weeks. Entering system, heretics, end. and it and it stops earlier. I was asked to drop my cargo. Oh no way! Are you kidding? No, Boron Plunderer Phoenix Vanguard YTL. Oh my god! Oh, I hate this sector. Baron Shores. You're a mess. You I know was that? Asked to drop my car yeah. I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I hate Baron Shores. Let me give you penalty per jump. Make it make it a higher penalty. Eight. Higher penalty per jump because they will just stay. Uh... Ay, ay, ay. Oh, I need to confirm that. Oh, damn it. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Not a fight. Uh, with what mod do you set your trader? Uh, this is Tatter Trader or Dat Tatter or something. I think it's called Dat Tatter. Um, should be not on the... It's actually not on the mod list at the moment. Tatter Trade, this one here. Better trade. I think it's not on the on the list. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, that's that's the one mod that I put in which is not on the list. Yep. Let me change that right now. Oh, Error name. I see your changes. Um, let me change that right now. Is that one? Yeah. Um, I have seen this one. I can remove Erinay. That gives me a little bit more. I can remove that. Warpack, then I was Miranda, Hatter, Trader. Okay. All right, great. Now it's in. Should be in now. Mods. There you go. Hatter, Trader. Last one. All right. Good, 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 good. Yeah, we'll probably use that one. <clears throat> Phoenix Vanguard. Oof. Please just get destroyed by that station. That would be great. Here they come, but they are not fast enough. It will disguise itself again and then... It's... And it's gone. Isn't there a... There is a escape plate 
packed mission you can do, isn't there? Isn't there one? Entering system. Wretched skies. Wretched skies, yeah. Destroy. Zerstören. <clears throat> In my opinion, if a that should never happen, this is so bad. In my opinion, when a escape plate pack ship gets attacked, every single time it it uh, receives damage, there should be a a new replenishing 30 second timer before it can disguise itself again. So that it should not have the ability to just disguise itself as Boron in the middle of a fight. Should have like a a refreshing timer every single time it gets it gets shot as a pirate. That timer gets refreshed. Yes, that was dumb. Dumb, dumb. Now he's going to arrest someone else. No idea this is even possible. Yeah, I was just waiting for it. I was just waiting for it to happen. Okay, this is it. This is the gate. That may be the best pirate I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's your your excuse is just simply he's good. He's too good. Autopilot disengaged. Alright, let's go. Whoa, we're so slow. I don't know if I can do this in this ship. Entering wretched skies 10. Yep. My wipe keeps taking a hit. <laughs> All player owned ships would have an option to scan a ship. That would be great. Hmm. I'm missing my buttons. Um shift M? No. Control M? No. Alt M? No. Control? Oh yeah, control M. Okay. Accelerator. Wretched skies. Five. Family. Phi. Nemesis. Mark. Two. Vanguard. Nemesis Mark II, okay. Whoa! What the? That was nothing. We... Nemesis, Vanguard. 
Nemesis, Mark II, Vanguard. Theseus, Vanguard, Perseus, Vanguard, Nemesis, Vanguard. Come here. I was asked to drop my cargo. Nemesis, Mark II, Vanguard. No, you are not. The punishment will be swift and severe. Come here. Come, 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 come. All damage. Oh, damn. Oh, the plasma. I was not paying attention. I was not paying attention because I need a button. Um. Mm, I need a button for scanning. Um. Modes menu options. Camera target. Misc. Scan target. Scan object, there you go. Scan object. Okay, okay great. Give me that mark too, I need that. The consequences of your aggression will be dire. We need to get out of here. Entering Wretched Skies 5, Family Phi. Something hit us. Cobra is under attack. Why, what the heck are you talking about? Oh my god. Why are you not defeating yourself?
Porygon Vanguard. There's even another ship on top. The Jaguar. I don't want to lose it. Repair drone, rattlesnake, repair drone, raptor. Come here. Greetings. Greetings. Resupply and repair. Repair. All right, do it. There you go. Do it. That was bad. That was actually bad. Really bad. Cobra did it. Oh, Cobra did it. Nice. No indication where it's happening. Just minus rep. Oh yeah, that's yeah. They never tell you where where it's happening. They never actually tell you that. Just like you lost some rep. Yeah, but where? No idea. Easiest Vanguard boron. Ah. Okay, rattlesnake, what's going on? Why are you right to a suitable object for repairs? Rattlesnake? Oh, raptor. I'm I'm wrong. Um where's the monitor? Oh, you're still not there? What? Why are you so slow? Dude. He's still not there. Wait, what the... What are you doing? Fly and wait. King Ding -a Ling, hey, welcome on board. Virtual control, yeah. I'm still saving money for it. Great. You got already something that you want to that you want to get? Oh, you're undecided. Oh, that was not that was not what I wanted to do. Damn, those look so clean. Please note that wearing baseball caps will result in a fine of up to 2,000 credits.
What? When baseball caps? It wasn't me. No, it just says Nister. <laughs> what? When when baseball caps? There. Uh, sorry, I didn't understood. Wearing wearing baseball caps results in fines. Ah. Ah. <laughs> ah. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, yes, those are alpha primes. Yeah. Your sounds are low vo low on volume? No, that's perfectly fine. It's f maximized. The alerts are a little bit tuned down because they're usually blasting. <clears throat> oh, Galnak on the hydration train today. What is going on? Cheers. Thank you, Gernak. You know that I need to stay hydrated for practice tonight. That's actually really good. There's a new O game universe launched. <laughs> nice. I know. Or like this is actually nice. Really, really nice. Very nice today. Good week. Very good week. Um I'm, I'm so so glad that you were interested in between the stars. Very interested in between the stars. That is awesome. What the heck are you doing there? <laughs> Uh, Between the Stars was amazing. Uh, Skyrim this week was amazing. The entire week was really, really great. Thank you so much for your interest. So, could you, Captain, could you please land? Taman Kosset. Please land. Now. Hello. Hero. Oops, he disappeared out of shame. Land! Go down. A few hours later. I can't do it myself. I would like to do it myself, but I can. I cannot. Only the Nemesis Sentinel. Only the AI can uh, repair at ships. Oh, now we're fast. Yeah, that. Doink. We should be immediately repaired, right? Hello? Yeah, immediately repaired. Okay, cool. Thanks. Now get out of here. Don't need you anymore. Bye bye. Skyrim was fun. Skyrim was extremely fun. Yeah, I I actually like to play more Skyrim. If I'm honest. <laughs> Ganak has twenty points less than 
from the start at the stream. Okay, we're monitor. Monitor. Everything moves so slow today. What the? F Come here. Flying weight. Okay, I'm trying to harass those guys at the other, at the other side of the gate again. <laughs> Wish me luck. Finish him. <laughs> Scorpion! <laughs> well done. <laughs> How do you want your enemies? Well done. <laughs> How would you like your Xenon ships? Well done. Entering Wretched Skies 10. <laughs> no, Captain Cookie. Today's the first time that I play with those. Yesterday I calibrated them. And that was all I did. I need a Nemesis Vanguard Mark II now. What is this? Is that wait, is that the cap wait, that's the, that's the captain, isn't it? <laughs> the Lord. <laughs> that's yours. E Funny. And died. I don't even know my own emotes. <laughs> Accelerator. I just Wretched turned those guys skies. off today. Five. Family. Five. Wait, where are my satellites? I do not have satellites. Are you kidding me? I forgot to take satellites. Ow. Yeah, well. Cookie sad. <laughs> Lady Death, good morning. Lady Death, we already heard your your message. Arthur already played it today. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> Thank you. So, what's going on? Nobody around? Round, round, baby. Round, round. I do not want to... Go that far away from uh, the jump gate. What have we here then? I like the look of that. I have a couple more ideas. Ooh. Can't wait. Absolutely can't wait. New highlights on the plot. Ah, oh, yeah. Oof.
Okay. Tethys, Vanguard. Holy Order and Hatikva are now at peace. Okay, great. That's good. Just the tattered trait needs some time to start working. What do you mean? So, when I assigned the Tether Traders, um, I used that Tether instead Tether Trader. Here. That Tether instead of Tether Trader. And this is a little bit more simple. So, I just assigned an anchor space. I just set a distance penalty. Ignore trade rules. Auto wares basically tells that dude that it can trade whatever it wants as long as it does make profit. Also allowing illegal wares because why not? And that was it. Confirmed. And it took like 10 seconds for it to find a trade. 10 to 15 seconds and it already was trading. I'm, I didn't need to add or remove any wares or whatsoever. Um, it was just basically go, do your best, have fun. I think there are a few of those Tata Trader mods out there. I think probably that I'm using a different one. That I'm using that Tatter. I don't know. I really need to do a collection actually or like a workshop collection or something um or files oh that's my files oops uh where is it where's the stuff that i'm sus subscribed to Where are the mods that I am subscribed to? Was it that Tater? Tether Trader. Nothing works today. What's going on here? Workshop. Subscribed items. There you go. Tether trade. Yeah, it's that one. A simple tether trade by Lutzo. Updated July 2023. And now it actually works. Don't know what the problem was. Maybe there's just... Maybe you're just in a... Uh, part of space where there's not much happening. <clears throat> 10 minutes. Oof. You need to search inside the games workshop, not the general one. Um, okay. Okay. Okay.
Nah, <laughs> Lady Death, your your clip is in Discord. In the clip section, you can find it. Author posted it. Sales are causing too much traffic on Steam at the moment. <laughs> Probably. I will take a look around Steam and, and see if I can get something else too. <sighs> so far we got Skyrim Anniversary Edition and Command and Conquer Collection. If there's anything else. How much is the Vorian at the moment? Is it is it I do not own it, right? No, I do not own it. Is it also a Vorian? Wait, what? Oh, it's ignored. <laughs> ignored. <laughs> Fifty percent off. Incup Gorgon Vanguard. You will be destroyed. What the? You have no hope of victory. ECS Vanguard. Danger. Incoming missile. What the? F Gorgon, Vanguard, Perseus, Vanguard. Incoming missile. All damaged. Incoming missile. Be destroyed. All critical. Incoming missile. Ejecting. Emergency eject successful. Emotional damage. I actually really hate that ship. <laughs> I will not oh, buy another shit. nemesis. Here we go again. I am not going to buy a new nemesis. 100% no. No. Get it. Is that a mumbo? Oh. Ah, yeah. <clears throat> uh, can I not do like pick me up? It said something about a command about pick me up. Katana? Hmm. I cannot, like, I cannot buy it. Sandwich police. Hey, what on point? What would be the best fleet setup for large scale battles? Cannot tell you. Have to, you, ask, you have to ask someone else. A lot of destroyers. I don't know. Never did that. This was not a dog fight. I was a sitting duck. That's what it was. A sitting, a sitting a duck. Jaguar. Pick me up. Is that a thing? Can I help? Pick me up. More. Over and out. I think... 
Error name, didn't you say? That's the last time that they, that they can pick me up or something. Maybe a mod or a specific mission? Oh. Yeah. No. Hmm. Not really. Wait, stop. Oh. Hey, buddy. Docking granted. Yeah, that ship was not really nice. Oh, wait. Um, I need another button for. Where is it? Um, container magnet. Isn't there like a... Isn't there like a toggle for that? That's maybe too much. Oh, yeah, probably I got a toggle for this. Wait. Ah, nice. Probably that works. Yeah, it's a toggle. Nice. Great. That works. Those, the button at the front, you know. Cool, and now... On toggle. Toggle. On toggle. Hey, cool. I made myself a toggle. <laughs> That's cool. The only bad thing is that I cannot really shoot with this thing on. Wait, let me show you. Oh god. Oh. Yeah. Uh. So. <laughs> Oh, goodness. This is this here is now a toggle. Bam. Container magnet on. The only problem that I got, my finger does not really stick in here and I cannot really shoot like that. Yeah, I mean you can shoot, but it's Yeah. Maybe I do it on the other one. Fucking oh, so heavy! Um, let's actually enable it on the other one. Yeah. Where is it? Container magnet. There we go. Perfect. Ah, cool. You really need to push and hold to magnetize? Crazy people. Wait, what? I have magnet also as a toggle. How do you do that? Brush off your thumb and try to hail down a passing ship. What? Hello, Uber. Can you send me a ride? <laughs> Alright, good. Uh, where's the exit? <clears throat> Entering Wretched Skies 5, Family 5. Tethys Vanguard.
Ah, there's the monitor. Awesome. Monitor. Nice. We got almost the entire fleet here that I needed. Did you just... What the heck did you just do? Repair. Us. Buffalo under attack. Perinid patrol destroyer. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Two of them? I am so going to destroy their entire systems. I'm so going to destroy that. At one of one thousand percent. Wait, wait, wait. You're done already? You're done already. Okay, crazy. Yeah, interesting. Buffalo. Yep, that's... Yep. I know. I know. This is... There's my one buffalo. There's the other one. There are the destroyers that are turning to the buffalo. I cannot do anything anymore. It's basically dead. Who is... Who is enemy with the Paranid with the God Realm? I think the Holy Order, right? So I'm going to sell it to the Holy Order. There you go. Got my money back at least. Damn. Hey Dean, welcome board. I'm looking for a new setup myself. The, the sticks are fantastic. I would like to tell you more about one other thing that I got, but it doesn't work in X4. It's a shame. I tried to use it in X4, but it doesn't work. That thing here. Ugh. Another device like also clamped on your on your table and as hand for reference, mouse for reference. This is huge. It doesn't work in X4. It's at the moment, it's it's slaved to one of the sticks, but it's not working. Would need its own uh, USB connection, I guess, but I do not have another spare USB cable for that 
four pin uh, round weird thingy there. Oh, yeah, it's definitely 100% for Star Citizen. There's so many buttons and dials and things and, and like switches and oh, it's amazing. <laughs> It's so wild. Yeah, for people only playing mouse and keyboard, you just need to make a magnet as a toggle. Well, yeah, 100%. I mean, you can put something on your uh, on your space bar. That works. <clears throat> you need a cockpit part of... Yeah, I'm... Uh, yeah. I would love to have, like, a sim rig or something. That would be great. Oh god, even more. One second. Uh, more stuff to do. What is that? Oh, angemeldet. Circle Street. Angemeldet. Near Rosenheim. Samstag. Okay. Right. Um. They <laughs> vigor come at you in swarms. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know. We got a video about that on the channel. It's called, I think, the biggest fight in my life or something. There is a station blowing up in the thumbnail. This is exactly like when when I fought, no idea, 150 Vigor ships or so. That was wild. Google the connector. <clears throat> yeah, I will either I will buy it myself or they just sent me one. Whatever it is at the end. Um, I will need to connect. I will need the. This is called control panel number one. Need to control. Uh, need to connect the control panel number one somehow with another USB cable. And then we got switches. Switches that actually do something and they change colors and fail safe switches and dials and knobs and oh, a lot of buttons. I'm a simple man. I like pushing buttons. These nuts. <laughs> Good that I was a little bit faster. <laughs> I'm a simple man. I like pushing these nuts. Cockpit in graphics is easy. What? Took a fleet of two Asgars and two Sins into a Vigor sector and took out several stations. The trail of destruction was impressive. <laughs> I've been poked that you can't repair at carriers yourself. Should be able to. You should be able to? It's not possible. But it's not possible since... Six years! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Overlay in stream. Oh, you mean like as as a cockpit thing around me or something? Yeah, maybe. I can do it here, so maybe I've just leaked the 7.0 feature. <laughs> there you go, our first. Our first spoiler for 7.0 right there in chat. You can see it right there on screen for everyone that's watching the VOD. Comment underneath on YouTube. 
that. You've seen the first spoiler of 7.0. <laughs> Mods, delete the logs. No, not possible anymore. It's on screen. YouTube doesn't doesn't um uh, forget. Okay, um, what are we doing here? What is this? But look, I'm... orders. Ah, I forgot to make a picture. Ah, damn it. Okay, everything's repaired. Great. Um, what do I want to do now? I lost both of my... Oh. What's going on? Ah, police. Okay, I see. The traders are making a lot of money, actually. You know that? Ah, okay, I know what happened. Whoa, wait. Wait, why the heck do you... Understand. Wait. Buys. Buys. Sells. Profit minus eighteen k. Huh? What? I don't understand. Buys for 50k. Sells for 130. Transferring the profit so it's showing negative as it's sending the profit from the ship to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. When actually the plus is it's taking money from me? Oh my god. Okay, wait. Okay. Wow. Boy, you need to be an accountant for that. Okay. Look. I understood. That makes no sense, but my goodness. It takes like just just use this here. This here. Okay? Yeah, we're starting there. It takes 55,990 credits to buy 657 refined metals. Okay. Out of my pocket into the pocket of the trader. Then it flies to the station and it actually buys the refined metals for less than the trader thought. 
So it only spends 51,100 at the station and sends 3,800 back into my pocket so that the trader is back at zero. Then it flies to the other station and sells the stuff that it just bought for 51,000 for 137,300. And then immediately after that, it removes that 137,300 into my pocket bag. And this is the entire cell. It starts there. It takes money. It buys the stuff. It sends the rest of the money back. It sells the stuff. It sends the money back. I was asked to drop my cargo. And now, everyone... And now you've seen why this game is made by a German company. <laughs> Oh, by the way. Uh, sponsored stream is over. Like, they, 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 they definitely underpaid for this amount of time. <laughs> Damn. This is made by an accountant. Oof. If you go to your transaction log, you see, yeah, 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 um, uh, why, um, soll und haben. No idea what said that in English. I forgot. So, soll und haben. And, and, uh, double accounting and stuff. Oh, God. I'm not German and it makes perfect sense. Mm-hmm. There was a review saying that it was a game made by German accountants. <laughs> I should be able to know how much profit a station has made. Currently, that's impossible. That's not true. Like, you would... Mm, you could, but it's not, like, easily visible. Well, uh, actually, a station is easier. What you need to do is actually um, what you need to do is requesting immediate backup. Okay, let's see. Show more and more and more and more. Okay, trade sale. This is the entire amount of sales that we got. 765,000. 765,162. All right. And now you got to deduct from that the stuff that you paid for. Trade, purchase. All right. <laughs> and that's minus... 400, 112, 796, and this is your net profit. 352,366 is the net profit of this one single trader. Easy. <laughs> Easy. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. Maybe worth a video, huh? Damn. I understood all of this when I lived in Germany. As soon as I crossed the border, just random numbers. <laughs> X4 Elster edition. <laughs> uh, made by Bool. Bool Software. <laughs> in cooperation with Bool Software. Or Visual. Visual Steuer. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing you need to do, like wait after after playing for twelve hours X four, you need to do like a a tax deduction, and then you need to fill out formula. Uh, of uh, you need to fill out forms, 
and put in all your profits and all your losses and then you need to pay tax for that and depending on how much profit you made the tax uh payment is like a different percentage stop it <laughs> get some help <laughs> oh that's us oh, every every german loves that love it <laughs> DLC. Tax DLC. <laughs> oh. Oh, yes. <laughs> Stop leaking features. <laughs> oh. You can't know it without taking out a calculator. <laughs> Isn't there a, t a calculator in, like... Steam? Steam needs a calculator. There are only notes. We need a calculator in Steam. <laughs> Tax DLC, taxes and salaries. Yes. You get paid for in-game credits too. Hmm. <laughs> If you ain't playing X without a notepad, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> oh, a calculator on the right side would be great. Underneath information, just a calculator. That would be great. Like you're you're here on the on the right side, you're like, oh, I need to go into my wait, information. Transaction lock. Oh, here. You got there. There is place for a calculator. Here. Calculator. Put it right here. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. And what is that? Shield component factory. What? What? What is that? Oh, see, yeah, because this is a station, this is the sum that they, uh, that they actually sent over to my account. Nice. And then in my account, I will see all the pluses. See, when you go in your account, in your account, no, not in account management, but transaction log. There. Um, you can see everything here. And then you could, for example, go and say maybe just one uh, Sentinel YKU 370. Boom. There you go. I don't even need to do that manually. Look at that. Wait, what, what, what was the dolphin that we did that stuff for? This one here, right? Yeah, that was the one. Was it? Yeah, that was the one. Uh, AZM403. AZM403. And now you're going into your... Where is it? Transaction log? Hello? AZM... Hello? Where is it? Show less. Or more. Eh? Not working? Dolphin? Eh, am I dumb? Oh, ODC 310. Oh, sorry. ODC 310. Uh, ODC 310. Boom. Ah! ODC 310. Enter. There you go. Don't even need a calculator. You just need to find the station. And... You see everything that they sent over to you or did not send to you. Let's take a station. Um, Guiding Star Solar Power Plant. IJC... Awaiting orders. 684. Boom. There you go. 2.3 million. Send over. 
to your player account in the last 24 hours. Wow. I think this should even count in when you do this. Or is it J IJC? If you do this, confirm. This should be also in your transaction log. Yeah, 45,000. It's also in your transaction log. So I can also just simply go here. Boom, confirm. EQV880. EQV880. Boom. 40 million in the last 24 hours. There you go. You don't need to calculate for that. You just need to know where to add, where to search for it. Damn, I have way too much fun with this. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, mm, oh, calculations. <laughs> It includes transfer to player. Yeah, but that, it, like, isn't that also part of your profits? That's part of your profits. Yoshi, meanwhile, I'm just here blowing up Xenons. <laughs> okay, fine. Perfectly fine. German experience. It is not. Why that? I don't understand. It shows you only profits. If a station pays for stuff, if a station pays for stuff and then makes money with it and they're sending you over the profits, then you know how much money that station made, like the profits. You don't see the revenue. That's true. But you see the profit. How do you know if your station makes money if you count manual transfers? You mean manual tra so wait, okay, so you're you're using a, a trader and you manually buy from a station and send it over to yours. Well then you're like <sighs> This is basically tax evasion. <laughs> Your trader is an his own company. <laughs> that trader is one company. If you send that trader off, it's something this is like <laughs> you transfer money to the station directly. What do you mean? If you transfer money to the station directly. Okay. If you transfer money to the station directly, let's do this. Again. Back to uh, this here. Uh, actually, wait. We can we can do this from here. Account management. Okay, I wanna I wanna transfer ten million, right? Confirm. Boom. I transferred ten million to that station. Transaction log minus ten million. Station only made twenty eight million profits in your player account. It's always just, that view is always just one account. That 10 million is not gone, but it's not in your player account anymore. And that's not wrong. It's just, what? No, it's, it, it's absolutely right because otherwise you cannot, you cannot monitor what's going on on your station account. Yeah, it's all the transactions that are happening on that one account. And if I go into the account of that station, the station account, there you will see the plus 10 million. It's right here because it's transferred. <laughs> you want it simplified just say that you want it simplified because this here is absolute detail this is uh this is this is detailed and 100 percent on point you just want the the, the simplified version of that 
So I take that money back. And I got... EQV... EQV... 880. And we're back to the 40 million. And that's the profit of the station. That's the entire profit the station made. 40 million. It's the entire profit that that station has contributed to my player account. To, to, to my... To my personal bank account. Exactly that. In the last... Seven days or something. 24 hours. It only shows 24 hours at the moment. Which Captain Call is now on Twitch playing Accountancy 101. <laughs> yeah, it's deep. I know it's it's kind of deep, but like, like just what we just did there with buying and selling and plus minus 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 plus plus minus and whatsoever like you need to understand what's going on there if you really want to otherwise you can just simply i mean x4 is not really that difficult when it comes down to be making profits and whatsoever it's not like you need to it's not like you need to uh make calculations so that you can uh, so the, so that you make profit like 0. 0.2 cent per input and then when you sold like a million of that stuff you make like in the end of the day with uh, um, with all the costs deducted and whatsoever you're like with a quarter million credits profit after days it's, it's not that it's not that complicated it's it's really very simple and this is the Yeah, this is the most accurate way to show this but making money in this game is really not that complicated and that's why we don't really need to be like completely precise you can squeeze out a little bit a few percent here a few percent there but in the end you just build another station and then you make way more hmm Going back to the repairing carrier issue, I've, I've loaded up 6.2 and was able to repair the Raptor via the dock menu. Really? Oh! Oh! Yeah! You know what's not possible? Um. True, 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 true. Okay, that, that sounds about right. But you know what's not possible? It's not possible with a destroyer to dock at an auxiliary ship and then repair that's not possible that has to be done by an npc captain yeah the multiverse beta is over long 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 over yeah yeah aberon that's it's long over and welcome on board <sighs> okay, you know what? We're now going to... What the heck is my rattlesnake? Rattlesnake. Here. Rattlesnake. The one thing that you cannot do is like, you cannot dock with a destroyer at an auxiliary ship and then, and then repair. Docking not granted. Possible. I don't know if that's wanted or not, but it's not possible. Sorry. Successfully docked. There's a mod that does it right, but it doesn't filter by time period. Okay. Rich.
Right, so that's something I can't... Oh, stop! Where the heck are you going? <laughs> that's something I can't do. Monitor. Docking not possible. Docking not docking dock do docking not possible. That's the thing, Owen. That's not possible. When you can dock on a ship, it's fine, but when you can't dock, it's not possible. So I need to step off the bridge. Let the NPC pilot take over, go to the map. He arranged like the the repairing and then come back. Hey Lawless. Those are Verpil Constellation Alpha Prime. Damn. Need to get that name down. Also, there should be a command for YouTube to soon. Soon. Copy. B b b b b botrix. There. B b b b. Right, chat bot. Verpil. Hotas. Or Hosas. Actually, it's Hosas. Not on Twitch. Alright, YouTube should have that command too. No. Verpil. Verb Rill. Oh, sorry. Verb Hill. Okay. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> Come on! Doesn't work. Whatever. Sorry. Hey, Patchel. Welcome aboard. What the heck? Where's the gate? Oh, there. Right. That is so crazy. The um the rattlesnake is faster than the Nemesis. Nemesis was what what flying 300, 320? The rattlesnake is flying 370. I have the xenomorph sticks, yes. Exclamation point verpo. Yeah, <laughs> I thought so too. I thought so too.
Right, we're going to get in there and actually fight those dudes. I was asked to drop my cargo. Entering Wretched Skies 10. All right, fight. Perseus, Vanguard. I offer a prayers. Nice. There we go. Theseus, Vanguard. Incoming missile. Gorgon, Vanguard. Gorgon. Gorgon these. Incoming missiles. Your foolish actions. Go. Perseus, Vanguard. ECS, ECS, EC, EC, first Gorgon, Vanguard. Gone. Uh huh. Wait. Perseus, Vanguard. Nope. I will defeat you. Nice. <laughs> the magnet is working. Your. Love it. Yes. ECS Vanguard. Oh, nice. Yeah. All right. Now we're talking. Need to set some time aside to play it again. I have some time off next week. That's for Dragon's Dogma. Ooh, Dragon's Dogma 2, I guess, huh? Yeah, very excited. Uh, I'm still... Still debating if I should play it or not. I mean, on stream, of course. Not that I should play it or not. But, ooh, I don't know. I could play Dragon's Dogma 1 when Dragon's Dogma 2 comes out. So that people that are playing Dragon's Dogma 2 are not getting um, spoiled. And maybe see some stuff that they have forgotten in Dragon's Dogma 1 while playing Dragon's Dogma 2. <laughs> That could be actually the the five hat move, you know. <laughs> so give people like a reason to watch this stream and also play their game, so that they maybe see some stuff that they see in 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 their in uh, the sequel, and they're like, ah, oh, that's where it's coming from. <laughs> that's maybe a five hat move. I don't know. Oh, 
Oh, you could play X4. <laughs> you could play Star Citizen. You know. I definitely want to want to try whatever that um, that woman is doing, like flying, flying um, low altitude on planets. I want to try what what she what she does. And uh, maybe make a few videos out of that. Maybe just maybe just a fail compilation at the end. <laughs> we'll never know. Depends a little bit. Shashley, I think that's that's what she's called. Yeah, I don't know. I've I've only seen her videos on TikTok. It's her favorite thing to do. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Ow. Watch the Twitch streams? Oh yeah. No, I just watch the um the the highlights on on TikTok. On the app that is soon banned in the US. Uh -huh. <laughs> Damn it. <clears throat> anyway. Thank you so much for being here. That was an amazing, amazing, amazing day. Like I said, I need to cut it short today since uh, I'm going to Munich tonight. We have uh, emotional. Damage. We have combined Joyous. practice, combined practice with other teams and I can't be late. Saving is not possible during a cutscene. I am. Uh, what we are going to do next time is eradicate the Perinid from uh, the upper part of the map. That is the plan for next time. Eradicating them. Those things will stay. You'll see them more often. Uh, again, if you're watching this on YouTube and you're like at the end and... Uh, forgot about it you can ask me anything in the comments i will answer as much as i can uh thank you youtube for being here uh, have a wonderful day enjoy your time and see you in the next vod bye bye wait wait